I'm going to be guiding you through a 25 minute yoga sequence. If you're watching this in real time, it's Valentine's Day. So whether you're um, celebrating with someone or celebrating with yourself, I want to open uh, this class up to you to open up your heart. Uh, so just to generally feel mostly a deep love for yourself and just to carry yourself through the rest of your day with a light and open heart. So I recommend that you have two yoga blocks and a strap. We're going to start in a supported back bend just to start to open up your chest and open up your heart center. And this is just 25 minutes, very uh, straightforward chest opening sequence. I also like to sit up on a blanket sometimes if you want to grab one like that. All right, so you're going to have two blocks or maybe two books that have this similar shape. Um, you're going to have one block for your shoulder blades and one block for the back of your head and typically the one for the back of your head is going to be a little taller so it's going to be one for your shoulder blades you can start on like the lowest height and then one height higher for the back of your head you're going to turn around and lie back on those blocks so again one for your shoulder blades so make sure that the tips of your shoulder blades are on the block then the rest of your shoulder blades can come on the block then the back of your head rests on that block as well and then any variation with the legs that you would like. You can have the knees bent. You can extend the legs out in front of you. You can bring the bottoms of your feet together, bring the knees out to the sides if you want to start opening up your hips as well. Just whatever variation you choose. Again, we're focusing more on your chest, on your upper back and opening up through that area. Arms down by your sides, trying to have the palms face up if you can, just to encourage the chest to open up even more. And it should feel good. It shouldn't feel like a pinch. It shouldn't feel like any sharp pain or anything. It should feel just like an opening in the chest. And bring the eyes to close if that feels okay. start to bring your awareness to your breath if you haven't already. Just finding total stillness and relaxation here. Relaxing the muscles in your face. If you'd like to start to build some heat, you can introduce an ujjayi breath, that base of the throat breath comes in and out through your nose. Feeling your chest expand as you breathe, opening up through that area. And then to feel more opening in your chest, you're gonna to start to bring your arms out to the sides. So arms out to the sides, but you're gonna bend at your elbows. So it's like goalpost arms, right? There's a right angle in your arms, your upper arms reach out to the sides. I want you to try to bring your elbows towards the mat. They might touch the mat easily. Maybe if you're tighter in the chest area, they might not. Just opening up even more, trying to press the sh uh, elbows down. And then take those arms, start to gently, slowly reach them up and overhead. Your palms facing one another, bringing the arms as far back as you can. Shoulders away from your ears, there's a teensy lift of your low belly. So start to open up through the shoulders, through the chest even more. Reaching up and back behind you. And then if they're not already, start to extend the legs. Extend the legs and flex through your feet. You can bring some space between your feet. Reach through your heels, reach through your fingertips. And then from there, just start to bring the arms down by your sides. You can bend your knees. Just gently lift your left arm up and back. Just gently rock off of those blocks. You can move those blocks out of the way and I want you to come to lie back down on the mat. So lying back down once you've moved the blocks out of the way. And hopefully feeling the imprint of those blocks behind you, knowing that the chest is just nice and open from that work. And we'll do two brief bridge poses from here. Your heels are under your knees, so maybe walk the feet in towards your sit bones just a little bit. 
Your feet are hips distance parallel. I know you can't see them. Just get a sense of what that is. Arms down by your sides. And again, there's a right angle in your arms. Your forearms lift, but this time your arms are down by your sides. Inhale, lift your hips up any amount. So it's early in the practice. You don't have to go up a huge amount. Just starting to press into those arms. Scooch the flesh of your shoulders under the body to get more height through the chest. Your inner thighs draw down. Lift everything up. And exhale. Release the flesh from out from under you, vertebra by vertebra, bring it back down to the mat. And for this second one, bring a block between your thighs. So hopefully it's a foam block and nothing too heavy. Bring that between your thighs just to make sure that the knees stay tracking straight forward and not splaying out to the sides. Arms down by your sides, forearms lift, robot arms. And gently press through the feet, press through the arms, lift yourself up, scooch the flesh of your shoulders under the body to lift your chest up more. Inner thighs draw down. Can you think of drawing that block down? Inner foot is heavy. Low belly lifts towards your face. And gently, vertebra by vertebra, bring it back down to the mat. Well done, bringing that block off to the side. Gently hug your knees in towards your chest. Just reach your left arm up and back behind you, rock to your left side, and prop yourself up to all fours. So coming onto all fours, turning yourself around, shoulders over your wrists, fingers are spread wide, knees under your hips. Do three big rounds of cat-cow, opening up the chest, connecting movement with breath. Inhale, heart reaches forward, belly towards the mat, slight teensy lift of your low belly. Exhale, round the whole spine, press the floor away from you. Inhale, heart reaches forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, heart reaches forward. And exhale, round. Then find a neutral position in your spine. Walk yourself back a little bit so there's some space at the front edge of your mat. I want your knees to stay over your hips, or knees to stay under your hips. Knees stay directly under your hips. You start to walk the hands forward. Maybe rest the forehead on the mat. If the forehead is floating in space, that's okay. It might feel nice to rest your head on something. So maybe bring a block underneath your head. Again, your hips are staying over your knees. You should feel a deep opening in your shoulders and the chest, trying to draw it down towards the mat. Shoulders opening, press through all 10 fingers. Inner hand presses. Chest, trying to bring it down to the mat teensy lift of your low belly to lengthen through the torso. And gently start to bring it back up. You can walk yourself forward a little bit. Bring your knees a little wider than your hips. Big toes touch. Forehead towards the mat. Arms out in front of you. Child's pose. Your hips towards your heels. So again, if the forehead isn't resting comfortably on the mat, bring a block underneath it. If your hips are floating in space as well, you can maybe prop a blanket on top of your calves. Sit up on that blanket instead, just to make this as restful as possible. And with your knees out to the sides, your torso between your legs, you can kind of feel that sensation still of the chest gently drawing towards the mat. Start to reach through your fingertips as far forward as they'll go. Shoulders reaching away from your ears. Press through all 10 fingers. Upper arms wrap down towards the mat. Press through all 10 fingers evenly. And again, can there be a little action if as your fingertips press into the mat, there's almost like a little arch underneath your palm. Can you reach your chest towards the floor even a little more, just a little bit. Low belly lifts so you get long and don't overdo that arch. Then bring your hips away from your heels. Keep your hands where they are if you can. Curl your toes under. Lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Just holding here a couple of breaths. Bringing your awareness to your legs for a moment. Your feet are hips distance. They're parallel to one another. Your heels disappear behind your toes. You can start to pedal out the feet one at a time. So straightening one leg, bending the other. Just waking up the backs of the legs a little bit.
and then start to find some stillness. So you're going to bend both knees at the same time, tilt your pelvis further up and back, low belly lifts. Can you get long from your fingertips through your hips? Maybe you start to straighten through the legs if the spine can stay long. Those upper arms wrap back towards your feet. Great. From here, just shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up. I want your shoulders to line up over your wrists. You might have to lengthen your stance a little bit for that. So shoulders over your wrists. Your fingers are still spread wide. In this plank pose, you can bring the knees down to the mat if that feels good. If this plank pose, like this straight plank, is a little too challenging and it feels like you're going to collapse, then just bring the knees down. If you do bring the knees down, they're behind the hips a couple of inches, right? From that plank pose, you're pressing through the inner hand, almost like you want to bunch up the mat between your hands. Chest reaches forward, upper arms wrap back. And then lower down to the mat, knees, chest, chin, or one piece. Lower yourself down to the mat. Great. And for a moment, press yourself up onto all fours, curl the toes under, bring it back to downward facing dog. And we'll do that again, this time lowering down knees, chest, chin, so we can really open up the chest towards the floor. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose, shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, knees down, then chest and chin. And the chest makes contact with the mat for a moment, then inhale, slither through the arms for low cobra. Bhujangasana, low cobra, elbows back, shoulders back, lift everything up, the back of the neck is long, exhale, bring it back down to the mat. We'll do that again, inhale, peel head and chest, elbows back, shoulders back, and exhale, bring it back down. Last time, peel head and chest, elbows back, shoulders back, lift everything up, your hands aren't doing any work, it's just your heart reaching forward. And exhale again, press it up to all fours, downward facing dog. Taking a few moments here. Great. And gaze between the hands and step up to that space. Inhale, come up halfway, heart reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, up halfway. Heart reaches forward. Your fingertips rest on something. Your floor, the f uh, shins or your thighs. If they are on the legs, have them on the outsides of the legs just to make sure you're not pressing back into those legs. Weight is slightly more in the front of the foot. Inner thighs drop back. Heart reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Let's do that one last time. Inhale, up halfway. Heart reaches forward. Shoulders back. And exhale, bring it down. Then leading with your heart, reach up, circle the arms up, gaze up, maybe palms press up above you. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Great. From here, grab a hold of your strap, please. So it can be like a bathrobe strap if you'd like. Um, so we're gonna have a strap. We're just going to do some shoulder opening here. So gazing at your foundation, make sure your feet are hips distance apart. Then you're going to have that strap. I want your arms to stay straight for these exercises. So arms down by your sides first, and you're, you have that strap in your hands, giving yourself as much slack as you need. You're going to start to inhale, lift those arms up towards the sky. Exhale, you're gonna bring those arms back behind you. So I lengthen the distance between my hands and bring the arms back down behind me, right? Nice. Inhale, bring those arms up towards the sky and exhale, bring the hands down in front of you again. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms back behind you. See if you can keep the ribs in the body. Nice neutral pelvis and torso. Inhale, lift those arms up towards the sky. And exhale, bring it back down. Let's do that one last time. Just opening up through the shoulders, through the chest. Inhale. And exhale, bring it down behind you. Inhale. Up towards the ceiling and exhale. 
down in front of you. You can release that strap. Great. I'm going to step out wide onto the mat and see if you can interlace your hands back behind you. So again, if the arms don't come to straight, I'd like the arms to come to straight. If they don't, you can grab a hold of your strap again. Give yourself however much slack you need between your hands. Your feet are parallel, right? The outer edges of your feet parallel to the sides of your mat. Inhale here, just coming into a forward fold. Exhale, leading with your chest. Forward fold over the legs, over the hips. Depending on the mobility in your shoulders, maybe those arms reach up and overhead more as you forward fold. Weight is slightly more in the front of your foot. Kneecaps are lifted. There's a little action of the inner thighs drawing back. Feel how that maybe makes your spine a little longer. Release neck and face. Can your shoulders draw away from your ears? Can your neck get longer? Inhale, leading with your heart, bring it all the way back up to stand. Great. You can release the hands for a moment. We're going to do that one more time. Maybe switching the lacing of your hands if you interlaced the first time. So interlace your hands back behind you again or grab a hold of that strap. Switching the lacing of your hands, that means opposite index finger and thumb in front. Straighten through the arms, whether you have the strap or not. Straighten through those arms. Inhale, heart lifts up. Exhale, start to forward fold over the legs opening through that chest. Maybe there's a teensy bend in your knees if that allows the spine to be a little longer, if the hamstrings feel very tight. Arms up and overhead. Shoulders moving away from your ears, heart reaching towards the floor. On an inhale, bring it back up to stand. Gently release the interlace. You can turn that foot towards the front edge of your mat. Just step to the front edge. So gaze at your foundation. Make sure your feet are parallel to one another. Hips distance, really just two fists distance between your feet. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's do one little flow to bring us onto the mat. Inhale, circle the arms up, reach up, gaze up, heart reaches up. Exhale, leading with your heart, forward fold over the legs. Inhale, heart reaches forward, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step it back to plank pose. Take an inhale there. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat. Hips stay lifted for a moment, then inhale, slither your way through to low cobra. And exhale, bring it down to the mat. Make sure your wrists are under your elbows. Option to maybe come into upward facing dog. So make sure your wrists are under the elbows. Elbows back, shoulders back. Inhale, peel head and chest. Your legs are active. Maybe you press into the hands and come into upward facing dog. Your arms are straight now. You're just on the tops of your feet and your hands. Holding here for a moment if you can or holding low cobra. Your low back is happy in this back bend. Pressing again through the inner hand. Heart reaches up, inner thighs draw up, low belly lifts towards your face. And exhale, lift those hips up and back to downward facing dog. Holding here. And then shift it forward to plank pose again, top of a push-up, shoulders over your wrists. And again, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slither your way through, low cobra. And exhale, bring it down for a moment. Prop yourself up onto your forearms to come into sphinx pose. So elbows are under your shoulders, your forearms are parallel to one another. Your legs are active here, inner thighs draw up, low belly lifts. So think upper arms wrap back, heart reaches forward, pressing evenly through those hands. And there's a little dragging back of the mat towards your hip points as you lift your low belly. Take two more breaths here, low belly's lifting. And 
gently start to bring it back down. Bring your hands by your floating ribs again. And one last time. Elbows are over your wrists. Inhale up halfway. Lengthen low cobra. Maybe you come up all the way to uh, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. You're pressing through the hands. Chest lifts. Exhale, lift hips up and back to downward facing dog. Holding. Probably feeling some deeper opening through the shoulders in this pose, some length through your spine. And from here, bring your knees down to the mat, big toes touch. Take another child's pose. Bring your knees wide as the mat. Kind of create a little more length in your spine this way. your hands back towards your knees to come up to sitting on your shins. You're going to turn around, just coming onto a seat. So maybe sitting up on a blanket. If you feel like you're not able to sit up super tall, then come to sit on a blanket. One little forward fold here. Your legs are extended out in front of you. Palms face down, lengthen through your chest. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, forward fold over the legs. Maybe grabbing onto a strap and hooking the feet. Maybe grabbing onto the feet. Maybe hands just rest on the floor by your shins. Just forward folding here. The legs are active. So even though you're forward folding and rounding quite a lot, can there be a little suggestion? We did all this work for the heart opening. Can the heart reach forward even as you forward fold? And on an inhale, bring yourself back up coming off of that blanket and coming to lie down on your back. Hugging your knees in towards your chest. Keep your right knee hugging in, extend the left leg. Just gently twist towards the left. So drawing that knee towards the left, your right arm can open up towards the right. Gently bring it back to center and switch sides. Bring the left knee in, extending the right leg, and bring it off for a twist. And bring it up to center. Plant both feet onto the mat. Just two brief bridge poses, same way we started. Arms down by your sides, robot arms. Inhale, lift those hips up towards the sky. Inner thighs draw down. Maybe interlace the hands back behind you. Scooch the flesh of your shoulders under. Maybe able to lift even higher. Chest lifts, low belly lifts, inner thighs down. And exhale, vertebra by vertebra. Bring it back down to the mat. Last time. Arms down by your sides, forearms lift. Inhale, lift those hips up, inner thighs down, inner foot heavy. Maybe switching the lacing of your hands. Press into those arms to lift your chest further up, chin away from your chest. And exhale, bring it back down. And then I recommend that you extend the legs out arms down by your sides and hold Shavasana corpse pose for a couple of minutes at least and when you're ready you're going to prop yourself up to a seat but take your time sit in what the practice offered you thank you so much for joining us this is fit scope namaste